Yes. Show me your creation. Show me my latest creation. Yes, your latest creation. Well, this is not quite all done yet because there are four important things missing from this particular build. This is a mini golf course. <laughs> this is no, so no, cool. it's not a mini golf course. This is no. So cool. <laughs> no. What is it? The four things that are missing are three villagers and a zombie. Oh. Oh. This is, is this an iron farm? Yeah, it's an iron farm. So, I only have one question. Yeah? Is this ethical? Probably not. Okay, I'm not I'm not saying it's not game breaking and it's not I don't care about that. I care about you're going to put the 3 villagers in this little room and you're going to scare them so badly that they that creep they... out iron men and the iron men are going to get destroyed over and over. Yeah, yeah, they are going to be yeah, the iron men will pop there and then we'll die in lava Do and we collect them that is of course assuming so, that so I it just, all depends on how I'm not we answer saying the we ethical question do it <laughs> we should at least discuss the ethics of yes. this development <laughs> that's that is the question that, the whole thing we need is... to talk about this oh my <laughs> god that just looks so freaking cool look at the lava up there that's so amazing now the frack did you yeah. do this yeah and <laughs> Somebody so was complaining awesome. that we didn't have enough iron. Well, um, we we have been finding uh, enough yeah. iron to sustain If we us, have enough like, iron, then we won't need just. this. I could, yeah. I could just take this all down and replace it with uh, bamboo trees. Oh, I know. I know. Look, <laughs> it's so cool looking. Let's just let's not put any, let's not imprison any villagers in there just yet. Okay. <laughs> Because we do have candidates that can go in here, I'm telling you. Right <laughs> we now. have a couple of we candidates. We have a couple of candidates that are friggin' a little bit useless over there that I'd like to replace. Like, because I know that the villagers will end up breeding and making new dudes so that we can right. maybe get somebody better. But uh, I think Mithri should at least see this and that we should yeah. talk about it. Ha ha have a villagers. discussion and vote. Yeah, we should have a discussion as to whether or not an iron farm is uh is not unusual and cruel to the <laughs> villagers involved well my next question is do we have to have a zombie to scare them or no i don't know what happens if there is no zombie in there whether it because the obviously these guys are producing mm -hmm. iron men Without yes. a zombie, I mean, around. we could do an experiment if you an wish experiment? to know what the rates are in that case. Ah, oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. I freaking love the design of this. I think this is flawless. Yeah. Yes, I definitely is... want to do it. <laughs> well, this is a Frilioth design, and oh, yeah, Frilioth okay. has a knack for really compact, oh, neat space. design. Yeah. Is a arm? I love it. I think it's brilliant. Oh my god. Oh man, Mithri is going to be shaking her head so dang bad. All right, show me where the show me where the cocoa and the bamboo run off to. You do, okay. There are two things. You know what you could use the cocoa beans for? Chocolate chip cookie and brown nut. Chocolate chip cookies and brown nut. Those are the only two things I could think of also. <laughs> yeah, well, only one of those sounds m relatively exciting, so that's okay. <laughs> Yes, and then the other thing is the bamboo. Okay. And the bamboo, see, bamboo, I have. Let's see where did I put the? Oh, I have two more questions for you after that. Okay, uh, up here. Okay, the bamboo is bamboo. Oh, okay. I have bamboo here. Oh, I also that's have. So much. And we could use this for. That's why. That's the reason why I stopped growing it is because we have several stacks of this, and the main thing you use that for is scaffolding. I... Scaffolding. I've never. Yeah. Okay, let me show you this stuff. Yeah, show Let's me the yeah, Oh okay, my god, so. it's like a, Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so you could do what this. The hell? And you could go up and oh down my it. God. Oh my god. How did you do that? that? And then if you are <gasps> face it yeah. And if you face a direction and click on the scaffolding once you're on top, uh -huh. then 
it'll build it out to that direction. Uh, well, as soon as like like this, so it can only go out so far before it starts dropping. I think if you go more than six, it starts the gravity starts to grab it. So, but this and at the bottom when you just break the one at the bottom, the whole thing comes down so that you'll be able to. Oh wait! Be able to clean up the scaffolding after. Ah! If... <laughs> so you break the one at the bottom, and the whole thing comes down. Ah! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I made sure I got to that before you did that. <laughs> I saw what you You saw that coming? <laughs> Hold on, let me give you your scaffolding back. That's amazing. Yeah. Scaffolding is so cool. Gotta, so basically yeah. what we're doing is strip mining down below this island. All the extra materials are going into this road. So come on in. Okay, so let's have a... So, and that's the only one of those that I've seen. And the nether fortress is somewhere straight out this way. Uh, you have to be careful because yeah. this is the end of the road. Uh, you will okay. die. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the... The end of the road. <laughs> All right. So, so this I'm is just this phase one of the road. This then, is yeah. phase one, yeah. We ran out of we basically ran out of materials. Oh, yeah. I've built nether roads that basically had the same look all the way through with the full nether tunnel, and it's long time to build those things. Yeah, it seems time consuming. Yeah, so we yeah. were just like, well, this is what we have now. So well, this, this is, is what, what you this is what you do first. <laughs> I must record this family meeting for posterity. So. <laughs> Mithri Inferno. This is what is known as an iron generator. So, what goes in here, come around here, please, and look at the front. You'll see some water. You'll see, I don't know. It looks really cool. You'll see some beds. Maybe don't, maybe don't, maybe don't pick this as your spawn point. Um, so, what we do is we get three, three villagers, and we put them in to this little hotel for a vacay or a staycay, whatever you want to call it. And, um, Definitely be a staycay. <laughs> they s will spawn iron golems and the iron golems will get eaten and then uh, we get the iron from the iron golems. Where does it go, Pine? Oh, is there, there are these chests in back here. Oh, in the back? Oh, ooh! It's all very efficient. Right. Uh, you'll see, though, that it'll also it's very good at getting poppies. Oh, okay. Oh, right, because of, right because the iron golems like to carry poppies. Yeah. Right. So now I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with I mining iron. There's nothing wrong with it. But if we had an overstock of iron, we could build a very long, very expensive railway system to pretty much What's wherever we want. So Mithra's been really quiet. She's just <laughs> taking it all in. She, 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 she's just looking at this, huh? She's taking it all in. Now, the other plus side, there's another plus side, okay? <laughs> The other plus is that um, the villagers that we take pull out of the Skyblock Mall, we can replace those with villagers that might be a little more conducive to our needs. <laughs> she's she's, <stuck. laughs> she, she's she's going. Oh, she's what am saying. I getting into? <laughs> she's still not saying anything. So. Why are these villagers making iron golems? Uh, well, it sees that the... Well, you see this slot right here? This rail line? Mm -hmm. That takes... There's, there's going to be this spot right here where there is going to be a rail cart. This rail cart, in fact, with a zombie in it. And, and of course, the... Villagers summon help. They get scared, and they summon the golem, and the golem tries to get to them and 
uh, you know, he, he ends up as a hamburger. And <laughs> in the... You think it's okay <laughs> to terrorize the villagers? I did yeah. ask this ethical question earlier of Pine Leaf. And we did say, all right, we got to have a family meeting about this before we go any further. So, and that, and that that's what that's what we're that's what we're here to do. We're here to talk about the ethics of scaring the crappy golems out of the villagers. <laughs> Are we having that big of a problem of getting the wrong iron? <laughs> well, that's 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 things. When I built this thing, I was under the impression that iron was a rare. And precious commodity. Apparently, that may have changed since then. Just think it seems horrible. It does seem. <laughs> it does seem, you know, a bit moral, a bit of moral gray area. I, I can see. Although, if it's all that gray, <laughs> do you think? Do you think? Do you think it's? Not exactly in the gray area. You think it's more of in the um, in the realm of cruelty, or maybe? Yeah. But she, I thought she was thinking it was in the metallic iron area. So you don't want to think of this as the Hotel California, where you can check out anytime, check in anytime you like, but you can never leave. <laughs> you don't. Just maybe. You know what? Let's not tear it down. Just maybe. Just. Just let him marinate a little. Go in and talk to some of those villagers. Put your bed down. Try to sleep up there. See which one maybe needs to be taught a lesson. You know? Maybe <laughs> needs to have a time out. And then then maybe maybe we we'll revisit this, you know, in a in a in a day or two. Okay? Uh, she'll revisit it when one eighteen comes out. When one eighteen <laughs> <laughs> In which case, the point would be moot. <laughs> All, right. All right, this discussion is to be continued. <laughs>